it is time for another daily YouTube live stream. I'm Zach. Welcome back. Let's play some games. Today we are back in my Canada themed city, the city of Atena, and we're going to be working on the main street. So welcome everybody to a great stream. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. And uh, I got a bunch of fun stuff to do today. Some brand new assets I've never used before, never shown on spring, never shown on stream before. So that will be fun and exciting. Uh, hello to everybody in chat. I see Northern's in chat. V5 is in chat. Greg is in chat. Hey, Greg. Yeah, so Greg was chatting with us on Discord today. Uh, welcome to the stream, Greg. Um, I checked out some of the assets that you recommended, um, and they are really cool looking, and we're going to look at some of them today. So thanks for your recommendations. They were really, really great. So here we are in my city, and it is looking sweet. So I did a little bit of detailing after last night's stream. I added a bunch of trees around the edges, but the real thing I did that took, I spent a long time time detailing last night um, I went house by house by house and I just cleaned up all of the yards here because there was like those sprites were showing through the driveway so I just put like gravel underneath the driveways uh, of every single house but I think it like really makes it look nice and clean uh, but yeah I adore these like little communities and these little houses look at these little backyards um yeah, things are looking really great. Um, I'm li I've left this spot blank here to put in a medical clinic, but medical clinics are very expensive, and I'm still having money problems, so I'm just saving this spot for medical clinic. We'll come back here as soon as my money problems get resolved. But right now, we're at $220,000, and we're still losing money. So fingers crossed that we'll be able to work this out. In fact, I have an idea. I have an idea of how we can solve this money problem. We're going to build a toll road. We're, if you want to come to my town, you got to pay me some money. <laughs> I don't normally use toll roads, but we're in serious problems right here. Uh, so we have just this one way into town. Actually, there's another way into town, too, next to our beautiful Tim Horton sign here. So I thought, hey, let's let's put a toll road in here. Who, what is this guy doing? This guy's delivering pizzas. Do you have Domino's Pizza in Canada? I don't think there's a Domino's Pizza in Canada. What is this guy doing here? Maybe someone from Canada called all the way into the United States and, said, and ordered a pizza. It might be cold by the time it gets there, but hey, they're dedicated to their profession. All right, well, let's go ahead and take this road out and put a toll road in. And we don't need, we don't need like a giant one, but maybe like there's like a smaller one, I think two-way toll road. Yeah, this smaller one should do nicely. I might have to take out this road, too. Let's try to line it up here as best as I can. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Just put it in right there. Actually, let's use move it and see if I can line it up a little bit better here. Okay, that looks good. Looks pretty nice. All right, and then let's grab this road again. And we will connect this up to here. Does this not want to snap onto this? What's going on here? Oh, no, that works. Okay. Let's do this one to here. Perfect. And we have a toll road. It's right, and our sign is like right here. We might have to move this sign because for some reason there's a tree in this toll road. Uh, we'll put the sign right in front of the tree. <laughs> It'll make everyone hungry for coffee as they're waiting to pay their tolls.
Is this a good idea? I think this is a good idea. Make us some money. Uh, Greg says, Zach, I was looking at the street view of Banff and Google Maps, and they have a bunch of chalets. Uh, what's a chalet? Is that like a house? V5 says, yes, we do have dominoes. Oh, you have dominoes. Oh, okay. Maybe I should put a dominoes in here. Northern says, I don't think anyone deserves to pay to get into your sad industrial urban city. <laughs> that sounded a lot less aggressive in my head. Greg says, yes, there is one in Banff. A Domino's? There's a Domino's in Banff? Wait, hold on a second. Uh, Dino's in chat saying, yo, hey, welcome to the stream. Let's check this out one second. Okay, I do have Google Maps up here. Is there a Domino's in here? This is this is Banff. Uh, Domino's. <gasps> there is one! There's one right here! Oh, that's on, like, the curve of the street. Oh, this is... Man, that is so great. We could order some pizza right now. Um... So that would be, like... Like, right in here. You know, we could, we do have some room in the corner here. We could throw one in. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Domino's Pizza. Let's say we put one of those on in here. Domino's. How big is it? Yeah, we could put it right on the corner here. Little corner Domino's. Or maybe actually like up in up the side of the road here. Or how should we do this? I think we'll put it on the corner like that. Yeah, I like it. We got our own little Domino's pizza. Perfect. We'll just slide it over so it's right in the corner here. We'll actually put some parking spots in front. How about that? Do a, a few parking spots. There we go. Six six parking spots right in the front. Nice. And then um, I actually have like a little prop car. Dominoes that we can just put right in one of these spots here. Oh, it's an ugly brown color. <laughs> Ooh, we can put two of them. Two ugly brown colors. Um, actually, I think we can reset these. There we go. We got a black one. Yeah, we'll have a black one and a brown one. How about that? <laughs> Waiting to deliver some pizzas. Oh, they're kind of floating. What what happened there? Why are they floating? That was weird. That looks better. All right. Okay, so we have a Domino's Pizza. Wasn't expecting to do that at the start of the stream. Actually, in this spot here, I kind of want to put in a park. I realize we have this park here, but this is turned off, so it's not functioning. We built all of these houses in here, but they're all level one. And I need to get these to level up so we can get more people in this town. Um, and so I think if we put in a park, I don't think I can afford this one, but maybe like a regular park. We could put it in right here and it would... It would that would make all these people happy. Um, so let's see what kind of parks we got. Um, I was thinking this one, but this won't fit in here now that we have the dominoes. We'll put in a little dog park. No, that's a playground. Yeah, I think a playground would be nice. How big is a dog park? 
Yeah, I think I'd rather have the playground. So yeah, this is like the main street here. And I feel like I would like a little playground park right off of here. Uh, there's also a playground in this park. This pack. How big is this? Oh, that's very small, though. Um, let's use the bigger one, since we have this space. So this one, we'll put it in right over here next to the Domino's Pizza. So you can go order your pizza, and then while you're waiting for the pizza, go hang out at the park with your kids. That looks great. Did I change these trees? These look like nicer than the vanilla trees. I think I did change those trees up. They look quite nice. Uh, V5 says, we don't have a lot of toll roads in Western Canada. I can't think of even one west of Ontario. Well, we got one in Banff now. Well, now, it's, now that I'm thinking about it, we should, we should put one on both sides of town so that no matter where people come in, they have to pay. I don't want people sneaking in the back way. They got to pay no matter where they're coming in. I mean, this is, this is kind of like a touristy kind of town. I mean, we, we need to... We need to fund it somehow. So let's get in another road over here. Do it like this. Do the same thing. We're going to line it up with move it. Line it right up to the center there. That looks close enough. We'll take this road here and do the same thing with this road here. All right. So both ways we have the toll. Now these need water and uh, power, I believe. So let's make sure, oh gosh, that cost me money to place those. We're now down to 193,000. I keep spending money and it's not good. All right, where were the rural or suburban power lines? That's what we were using. Okay, so let's draw one right to these trees here. So that has power. And does this one have power? No, it does not. It does not. So we can draw a power line right down the edge of the road. Connect it up to here, maybe. We got power lines in the water. That's not ideal. Yikes. That looks a little dangerous, but it is what it is. Uh, so let's let that run. So, so is this going to need water? Let's see if it needs water. Hey, did this guy pay? Did the Domino's guy pay? I can't tell. Let's select this. Okay, so we're going to boost this all the way up. Ticket prices all the way up. Oh, here comes a car right now. This is a very noisy car. It's a Tesla. Holy cow. He's he, The Tesla should pay double. Oh, we are. they are having water complaints. Shoot, we got to give them water. It's not the end of the world. Hey, we got a new subscriber. Thank you, Tyler, for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. All right, so that guy has water, and let's give water to this guy over here. Oh, my goodness, this is giving me a hard time here. For some reason, this water pipe doesn't want to extend out. Is that going to work? I don't know if you can force water pipes to connect. It doesn't look like it's working. Oh, there it goes. It's working. Perfect. 
All right. So we got our toll roads in. We got the water working. Everybody's happy. My citizens are complaining about they need jobs and um, if we look at these, if we look at these businesses over here, basically they only have uneducated workers. We have no educated workers, no well-educated workers. We just have uneducated people living in this city. Where are all the educated people? I think we might just have to give them some time to go to school because I feel like this whole town is just uneducated people. I don't know what the deal is with that. Can I look up education levels? Unemployment's 50%. <laughs> we have 50% unemployment. Um, and 50%... Wait. 50%... Yeah, but there's all of these jobs. Fifty percent unemployment. This, if I'm reading this correctly, see, this is a mod I have. Employment and workplaces mod. It gives me more more stats to show who which jobs are unfilled. So it's telling me I only have uneducated people living in the city, but this is saying that I have four hundred and twenty four jobs. Oh, no, 424 workers and 214 are employed. So where are the other jobs that they're not? Why aren't they taking these other jobs? Or no, maybe they have all the jobs. Maybe I need more uneducated jobs. Here, let's do this. I'm going to switch up. This is a little bit cheaty here. But I'm going to go here and switch up my Rico settings on all of these industrial buildings. So I'm using block services for these industry buildings so I can like manually control what's happening here. So I'm just going to make these all 10 uneducated work. Uh, I'm going to make these all uneducated jobs, basically. And maybe that'll kind of help my scenario here. Did that change it? Yeah, it changed it. So let's let that run and rebalance itself. See, all the complaints went away. Um, yeah, and we'll just watch and see what happens. Captain Iris is in chat. Tyler's in chat. Oh, Tyler says Captain Iris sent me. I subbed. Well, thanks, man. Captain Iris says Tyler is a G. <laughs> Uh, V5 says the solution to the money thing is easy, quantitative easing. That's V5, that's your suggestion for everything. Quantitative easing. <laughs> it didn't work for the Fed and it's not going to work for me. Captain says, Tyler's my old roommate. He's a G. I actually met him off of YouTube. Nice. Northern says it's like a Tim Hortons soda overdose. Yeah, we we do have a Tim Horton here. I th I feel like we should put in more Tim Hortons. Like how many Tim Hortons are in a typical town this size? I feel like they have more than one. Like we just have one right now, but I feel like there would be more than just one Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons for American viewers, it's this is like Starbucks for Canada. V5 says it's an education thing why the jobs are going unfilled. Yeah, I think we just have to give it time for people to get educated. Uh, we do have people going to school right now. We have 28 students. What? This school only has 75 student slots? That really is horrible. 75 slots? What? This high school only has 250 slots. Holy cow. I only have 13 high school students. That's not even like a full high school class. Holy cow. Has anybody ever had 13 students in their class? Like, that's like nothing. Uh, I love that people are using all the parking lots. Uh, well, not these parking lots, but that will change as things, things grow up and things like that.
Uh, Northern says that there's a bunch of Tim Hortons in a single town. I couldn't even read that whole number, man. Taco time is in chat. Hey, welcome to the stream. Saying have I have that same school and elementary is 300 capacity, I think. Really? Mine is only 75. V5 says, I only had six students in industrial systems programming. Oh, wow. Greg says, yes, for small towns, they have fewer students. Oh, that's true. That is a good point. This is a much smaller town than normal, so they would have a smaller amount of stuff. Okay, so we worked on this park. We put in this park. We put in this dominoes. Let's look over here because I did some great detailing for this Safeway that we put in yesterday, and I'm loving the way this looks. I think this is so cool. We have these beautiful parking lots, and I lined them with trees and flowers. And then we have our Safeway up the front here. And I put a little road along the back so that trucks can come to these loading docks in the back. Um, and then there's a little bit of space here because I feel like we could have a, just a couple more shops in here and make it like a shopping center. Because, you know, usually there's like a Safeway, and then these it's like more of a shopping center kind of a place. And, you know, Greg gave me some great suggestions today that would go great in these spots. Um, so he sent me some collections of Canadian assets, of businesses that are in Canada. And let me see if I can just pull some of them up. And some of them look like they're just, you know, they're in shopping center type places. So, like, here's one. Uh, Global Pet Foods. Is this a Canadian business? I feel like that looks really good right in here. Global pet food. So you can get your Safeway, get your pet food. And then here's another one. Tan effects. Tan effects. So you can get your tanning. Uh, you know, I, this, is, it's, this is a snowy environment, but you still need tanning. You still need tanning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these so they're right next to these buildings. So that it looks like it's all connected. And I think it'll look nice and snug right in here. Um, I might even try to put another one in next to it. Let me see what it looks like to put something else in here. Um, I think there was a Subway shop. Yeah, this one is called Mr. Subs. Mr. Subs. I bet this guy has a lot of, a lot of YouTube subs. That actually fits pretty nicely. I might move it over just a little bit. Well, let me hold this down. That's pretty good. So it looks like this pillar is combined between both buildings. I kind of like that look. That looks really cool. So it, yeah, it's all kind of one area. I We don't have as much room on this side, so I think I'll just leave the one on this side, but I'll have the two on this side. Is that weird that it's asymmetrical? I don't think it's too weird. I mean, the front of this building is like, what? why is this not symmetrical? I thought it was like perfectly, this looks like it's perfectly centered. I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, I just think that's this looks nice with all of the, you know, detailing and the trees and the signs and everything. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, I don't mind that it's a little a little asymmetrical. I think it looks all right. Uh, Liam's in chat. Hey, Liam, how's it going? Liam says, I keep forgetting about the time zones. <laughs> yeah, how are you guys liking the new time zone? Um, the, or the time change? Because for most of you guys, I think I'm an hour earlier now. Uh, so you can watch me earlier. 
Greg says, please try the Beaver Tails and Smokes Poutine. Um, yeah, that was a question I had. What's poutine? Is that, like, what is that? I never even heard of that. Let me check and see why these are complaining. Okay, this needs 52 workers. Oh, this has, this has, it needs lots of educated workers. Okay, this could fix a lot of our problem here. Hold on. This Safeway. Uh, I don't want to change this, though, because this will change my settings in my other city. Three percent unemployment. Okay, we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna write down my numbers here so I can switch it back. So I had one ten thirty one ten, and what I'm doing is I'm just writing this down because I'll have to change the because I'm I'm gonna alter the Rico settings of this building, and this will change this asset for all my saves. Uh, so I'll have to be able to change it back. So this is it has 52 workers. We're just going to make it 52 workers. For the entire, our uneducated workers. 52 uneducated workers. Boom. So that should raise a lot of employment there. All right, so where are we at in terms of... Yeah, we have a lot of residential and not as many jobs. So we need to put in some jobs. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is... Let me just look at this for a moment. Um, I love this shopping center here. Um, I This is another one I did a bunch of detailing with. So I added a bunch of flowers along the front. Um... And, you know, we have this fence around here. I had some flowers over here. Um, I put some delivery trucks back here, some garbage, some garbage in the corner. And it just looks like a really, really cool strip mall area. I really, really like it. Let me see if I can do anything with this, the edge of this. I don't know if I like how this is curved here at the edge. Um, can I use node controller on this? No, not really. No, okay. Well, we'll just leave it. Um, but anyway, we have this little lot here. Um, and I'd like to do something with it. And the, the asset that Greg mentioned, the poutine, uh, I think it'll fit right in here at this, the edge of this. Um, let's see. Where, which one is it? Oh, it's too big. Oh, that's quite large. Oh, wow. It had that, it looks like a little shack kind of a thing. Yeah, it won't fit in here. But we could do something else. Uh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of... I, I feel like every town has one of these places. Like there's like an abandoned... Like a abandoned lot size somewhere. Where people in town park their cars that they're trying to sell. You know, if someone has like a used car... There's like one parking lot in town that people like go and they like park their car and say, I'm trying to sell this car, call me. Um, I feel like this would be that parking lot. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Um, so maybe, first thing I wanna do is I wanna put a little hedge here so it looks like this has a, a back fence to it. Let me pull out a hedge. Let me 
maybe we'll use this one. Looks nice. Just to block that off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and then... You know what would be really cool here is under props, under uh, parks, I believe they have like little, little like uh, shacks. I'm not seeing any though. Oh, but we do have some old cars here. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like people could like would like park their cars here <laughs> and try to and try to like sell them I wish I had like a do I have like a station wagon I do. What? Oh, this is perfect. Look at this. 1984 Century Station Wagon. Oh, what a... This guy needs to sell this car. <laughs> He's a car from the 80s. All right, let's l raise these up a little bit because they're a little bit sunken into the ground here. like a slope going on. I think that's okay. All right, these guys are trying to sell those, their cars. Anyway, I was looking for like a little shack because I feel like this is also the kind of parking lot where, you know, they would like try to sell things on like 4th of July, like 4th of July fireworks. Yeah. So maybe there's like a little shack here for when they want to do that. Oh, this has like goods and stuff in it. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, this is a sushi bar. What? This is like a full-on sushi bar. Well, we'll say this is like a shack for them to sell like fireworks or something. Or, you know, or like a like a Christmas tree farm would, would use this lot. You know, they would rent this lot out. It's just like a weird size that some people wouldn't really use for like a business, but they would do for stuff like that. Something like that. Yeah, just a little gravel lot, lot there. Uh, Teddy is in chat. Welcome to the stream. Saying car yard sale? Yeah, something like that. Teddy says that's a terrain conforming prop. You can see something new every day. Um, let's see. Oh, Greg was explaining what poutine is. Greg says. Poutine sells fries and cheese curds. Liam says it's all in the details. Greg says poutine is a dish of French fries and cheese curds topped with brown gravy. Is it good? I've never had it before. Liam says, question, where's the meat? <laughs> V5 says, our parking lots need some place to pile snow in the winter so the curved edge is practical. Liam says, just... Pile the snow in the corner of the parking lot and block a few parking spaces. That's what they do here. Uh, Liam says, maybe you can have some bacon on top of the poutine. <laughs> Craig says, yum. Um, V5 says, you need some pickups. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I have a pickup truck. I think I have a pickup. <laughs> no, I just have the... I just have the lifeguard truck. We, we're not going to sell a lifeguard truck. Um, no, I don't have any pickup props. I'll have to find one. 
Taco says you need a Chevy Avalanche. Liam says that car is probably $3,500 now. Are you kidding? I bet it's like $1,000. This 84 station wagon? I bet that's a $1,000 car. V5 says in Canada, it's 1 July fireworks. Oh, that's right, because you guys do 4th of July on the 1st. Huh. V5 says Bamp has lots and lots of sushi. Uh, Borgon is back in chat. Hey, saying I just popped in, saw you were streaming again. Well, welcome back to the stream. Teddy says National Maple Syrup Day. Eh? <laughs> Never had it. Want to try it. Apparently, it's very Quebec, Quebec, Quebecois. Is that how you say it? Quebecois. Taco says, no way there's a $1,000 car. Well, maybe with inflation. Maybe prices have gone up. $2,500 if it runs. $3,500 if the AC works. Is that about right, Liam? Is Taco's prices correct? That seems a little high for me. For an 84 station wagon, 1984. Do you know how old that is? <laughs> I don't know if I would pay 2500 for that. Uh, Teddy says, I can't stay, but I couldn't resist hopping in and saying hi. Well, welcome for, to the stream. Glad you stopped by, Teddy. Borgen says, I had poteen before in Quebec. Am I saying that correctly? Poteen? I'm not sure. I, I mean, I, I've never heard of it until today <laughs> when Greg introduced me to it. Greg says, too bad you can't find a for sale sign to put on the windshield. Yeah, we'll just have to use our imagination for that. V5 says, yeah, that's how you say it. I need to come, I need to, to practice like a Canadian accent. I feel, I feel like I, I feel like I could pull off a Canadian accent. I just don't know. I just don't know it well enough. Captain Iris says, lick your partner's face day. What, is that a holiday in Canada? Taco says, you will pay for it when you don't have other choices. Liam says, a 2006 car is going for 10 k That seems very expensive. V5 says, the Canadian dollar is worth less than the U.S. V5 says, Zach sounds like people in Western Canada. Uh, well, you know, I lived, in, I lived in the Pacific Northwest for a long time, which is practically Canada. And, uh, and then I lived in Los Angeles for most of my life, so... It's where I picked up the way I sound, the way I sound. Greg says, by the way, that assets was two in one asset. Yeah, I saw that. Well, you know, we do have another interesting triangle shaped lot, which is right over here. We could try to do the same thing with that asset, the poutine. And maybe we could, we could stick it in here and make it work. So let's like make this all gravel in here. We can make this like a gravel parking lot. Nothing too like fancy or anything. You know, I like I like the idea of this is like a small town and like not everything is paved, you know? Um, yeah, so it's a nice gravel parking lot. Maybe we'll have this come out just a little bit further. All the way up to here. And then let's grab that asset we were looking at. Okay, will this fit here? Okay, so this does fit here. It actually looks really good. Is this double-sided? It is double-sided. All right, so we'll, we're going to actually stick it right here. Right next to the school. And this is kind of cool because, like, this is the high school. The high school kids could come over here and have French fries at lunch. So we got put, poutine and beaver tails. I don't know what beaver tails are either. There's like a, a an image here. I can't tell. That looks like sushi. Okay, well, that's, that's a thing. So this is kind of a cool shop. You know, maybe we could have... Maybe we could throw in another shop here. You know, we do have some really cool assets that are part of the um, the Green Cities DLC. 
that came out. Let me see if I can find some of them. They're the eco commercial buildings. That would be these commercial eco. Um, like maybe like maybe they do, there's like a little shop thing over here. That's like part of this. Or maybe one of these cool like little cafes. Uh, yeah, this would like kind of look cool on the corner here. But this goes the other way. Yeah, I like this because this is like made out of... Um... Is this made out of containers? Like shipping containers? Let's put it in there. No, it's not. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. It looks cool though. It's like a little, a little cafe. So it's like, it's almost like a little cafe area in here, all up in here. And maybe we could just stick in like a little parking lot. Or maybe we could do our own parking. We can do one of the two. You fit two little parking spots. Oh, that looks good because the gravel, <gasps> the gravel shows through on that. That looks really cool. I like this so much. Um, it's a little bumpy. Why is it so bumpy? Let's see if we can smooth this out at all. Okay, let's smooth it out to here. That's like doing nothing. Sometimes you just can't smooth things out very much. Well, I think it's good. I mean, it's supposed to be a little bit rough. You know, it's like, it's gravel, so it's not going to be perfectly flat. Okay, but I like this. I like this kind of cool little... Um, little area over here and let's do some fences why not let's fence this off to make it like a little its own little thing um, let's use the same fences I used around the Safeway which are the nature reserve fences which are these guys right here and we will just uh, run it like down Oop. put anarchy on we'll run it down like right there we'll run another one up the back here and then kind of like just down here We'll have to move these around a little bit, probably. Um, and then we'll put another fence in, like, right here. And let's grab our nodes. And just move these into place. So I'll make this little fence, like, along here. That looks good. This one will move back to the edge here. Okay, I like that corner. That corner looks good. This corner looks pretty good over here. And then we got a little bit of space here along the edge. Maybe we put, maybe, let's just do a little bit of detailing here, guys. Let's put in some little bushes. Um, that run right along the fence. Nothing too big. We're going to find some small, small, tiny bushes. And I got lots of, like, little flowers and different kinds of things. So let's see if we can find a small flowering bush. Uh, these are pretty small. That might be a little too small. Although that would look nice. It's a little, it's a little too small. What about these? Oh, this is almost perfect. Um, so it just gives a little bit of bushiness around the edge um, and with a little bit of color. It's hard to see, but there's little colored flowers in here. I'm thinking we go with a, um, a purple color. Oh, that's, no, that's too bright. That is too bright. I want something a little bit more subdued here. Yeah, we're going to go with, this is, they're, they're little pink flowers. You might not be able to see them, but they are there. All right, so we're going to run a, a row all along the back here. Oh, I picked the wrong one. 
And we're going to use the line tool to make these a lot closer together. So it looks like one long line of flowers all the way along the back. It's not close enough to the fence. All the way along the back like this. Look at that. That looks really cool. I really like that. Uh, maybe we'll put a little tree. Just just one tree in the back, I think, would really do it. Uh, maybe we do, it like, a big chunky tree. Or maybe we'll do, like, a chestnut tree. Yeah, something like this. Just a nice tree in the back here. Maybe another one over here, too. Perfect. What a cool little corner lot. Yeah, it's kind of fun to find these little these little lots that are just weird shapes that you wouldn't normally be able to put a building or a business in there and finding something interesting to do with it. I don't know. I like doing that. All right, what are you guys saying in chat? Uh, Greg says, Beaver Tails is a pastry shop. Oh, that makes sense. B5 says beaver tails are fried sweet dough. Like a donut? Sounds like a donut. It sounds good. B5 says painting lines on gravel parking lot is the definition of wasted effort. <laughs> well, but yeah, there's that. Maybe they paint them every morning. Uh, Borgen says there are locations west of Manitoba that are not nearly as many as in Quebec or Ontario. There's not one far from where I live. Nice. Liam says, I was thinking of all the poor beavers without their tails. <laughs> Greg says there is a beaver tails in Banff. Nice. <laughs> so this is very fitting. This is very fitting. Our little, our little area over there. Okay. So I want to start thinking about this main street here. There's a main street. Uh-oh. We got a new complaint here. Land value. Low land value. That is not good. We just put it in this park. Why are they complaining about land value? Oh, my goodness. Uh, what is this guy? Crime rate is high. We have a police station. Oh, there's crime everywhere. Don't we have a police station? Yeah, there's a police station right here. Two out of two police cars in use. Oh, I got a new uh, vehicle. I want to see if this one works. Is this the new one? No, this is the old vanilla one. Uh, how many police cars are out? There's two of two out. Uh, maybe this is not enough. I was thinking... Oh my goodness, this town has so many problems. <laughs> it's like crumbling. Oh, but baby, look at this. We are making money. We are making money for the first time ever. Now, we're still at $191,000, but we are in the green. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's do a quick check on our money. We'll go to our stats, city economy, bank balance, and look at this. We've leveled off. We have leveled off. So it's all up from here. Man, I was so scared about that. It was very, very scary. Okay, let's keep building out some more commercial. Um, and I'm thinking of extending out this main street area here. Um, and we got this interesting spot here where <laughs> I have to fit some businesses in between the road and this graveyard. We don't got a whole lot of room here. So to do this, I only have like two squares. We can only fit in two squares. See, I can't even put this parking lot in here. It's too small. And you can actually use Find It to help you find assets that'll fit in here. Um, if you go to Find It and then hit um, hit the hit this button, which will do growables. We want low density commercial for our main street. And then you can choose what size you want. And I just need it to be too deep. 
So I just switch this to two, and then it gives me all my options. All of these will all fit within two deep. Now we just placed these in the other area, so I'm not gonna put these down again. But I have some other cool stuff that will fit in nicely here. Like here's a building I have. This is actually, I th is this, what is this? Oh, this is like an, a, a secret club. <laughs> um, I found this on the workshop. It's supposed to be like a nondescript club you know where you see those buildings in town and there's no sign and then you just don't know what it is? This is like an underground club. It's like, maybe it's, maybe this is like a fight club or something. Who knows? But we don't talk about it. <laughs> We're just going to put it on our main street. All right, let's see what else we got. And we got these cool, like typical, like main street buildings. We're going to put all these in here. These look great. Maybe we'll put this one on the edge. This is like a little, a little like pub looking building. The Victoria. Oh, I think we used this in our other city as well. I got this. This is a cool, like, Main Street-looking building. Uh, now, these aren't the nicest-looking buildings, but I think they'll work well for what we're trying to do here. These are a little bit taller. Yeah, that looks really, really pretty nice. And so, look at They fit, like, perfectly right up against the cemetery. That is wonderful. <gasps> we're getting a delivery to our secret club. It's very interesting. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think this is a good stretch right here. And these are all, like, low-density commercials. Yeah. So that is great. So we're building that up. Um, let's see what else I wanted to do. Um, oh, you know what I want to start thinking about? Is I want to start thinking about having this road run out this way. Um, I was looking at the map of Banff, and the road layout is very interesting. Uh, let me look at, let me pull it up. Okay, so this is Banff here. Um, if we zoom out, this, okay, so this, we've been building on the road that kind of runs like this. Okay, so it comes from the freeway. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. So it comes from the freeway, comes from the freeway, and then turns around. I think it turns around here and then comes back like this. Uh, all these pop-ups are driving me nuts. It goes around like this, right? But this road is actually like Main Street. When you go walk down Main Street, it looks like this. So, uh, and then this bridge is actually really important. Is, this is like the main bridge that crosses the river because like right down here is like, it looks like, what is this? The National Park Administration Building. So this looks like some important building right at the end, end of this bridge. And actually, I can show you guys. If I plop my man down here to look at Street View. Yeah, see, here's the bridge going across the river. And you can see this like giant building down here at the end at the foot of this mountain um so this looks really important and then if you look back this way this is essentially the main street so what we've been building as main street is not really the main street well it is the main street but it extends this main street extends here down across this river so i really want to think of this main street as doing that um, so I think I'm going to extend it out right now. Let me just grab this brush or this road here. Yeah. And then have it come. It's probably going to come across like right here, but let's line it up with this river. So I'm going to want it to come across it just straight across the river like that. So this will be straight like this. And then we will curve this into here. So for starters, let's turn this into just a sharp corner. So this will end up being just an intersection. Uh, so we're going to have to redo this again. So if we delete this. And then this becomes just a straight road to here and a straight road to here. And then this then connects right into that. Um, and let's curve it. Let's just 
just a slight curve. Yeah, I like that. All right, so this will be the new the new main street. And so I want to line this with shops like this on both sides. So it's like a real a real main street. And that's kind of what you see when you're looking at the street view of Banff. Oh, by the way, thank you guys for deleting that guy in chat. Uh, that, thank you to my mods, my moderators, <laughs> for policing the chat. Um, V5 says, RCMP police, any area not covered by city police. Oh, is that like a national police? Yeah, I don't know how the, the police things are set up. Greg says, southwest across the river is where they have the riding stables, ballparks, skate parks, tennis courts, and tennis courts. Liam says, the what province have the police? Or, no, the province? Or... Oh, he's saying that there's, like, city police and then the province police. Yeah, I downloaded these new cop cars, and I want to see if they come out of here. We might have to switch to a bigger police station. Because I don't think this is doing anything. Oh no, he picked up, he did pick up those criminals over there. So there is that. Okay, um, so I'm thinking if we're going to have shops along here, I kind of want to have parking behind the shops. Now parking is going to be really important. As you can see, we already have like a full parking lot here. Apparently everyone's going to the post office. Holy cow. Oh, we need a flag outside the post office. I almost forgot. Canada flag. We need a nice Canadian flag out here. I'd like it more over this way. Yay! Right outside the U right outside the United States Post Office. Okay, you we'll just have to ignore that sign there. Um, oh, while we're over here, I'm jumping around to everything. Somebody told me today um, that I could take this parking lot off of here. Um, so in yesterday's stream. I had mentioned that I didn't want this parking lot here because I want people to use these parking spots, not this one. But I didn't want to take use the Bob mod to take this off because I was worried it would change my buildings and other saves. Well, um, somebody in Discord told me, and uh, sorry, I forgot your name, but it's like it's the it's the YouTube channel that runs the City Skylines YouTube, uh, the YouTube channel. Do you guys know what that is? I think it's called City Skyline 7 or CS7 or something like that. Great videos. I watch them all. I think they put out a video once a month or something like that on all the news that have come out about City Skylines. So if you guys are into City Skylines, you should subscribe to that channel. Anyway, he mentioned that he watched the stream and that I can take things off of assets using Bob without affecting your other saves. You just have to turn on the option. So let me see if I can figure this out. So if you have Bob here and I grab this building. So normally what you do is if you use Bob to remove something, it removes it off of all your saves. Um, but maybe I have to go into like um, the options menu to change an option or something. Do I have Bob on here? Bob. Okay. Configurations. Oh, I see. So use selected configuration instead of global configuration for this save. And then this would save it to the specific map. Interesting. Let's try it. 
let's try it. I'm going to select this. We're going to call this Atana. Save current configuration. And then I'll use selected configuration for this save. Okay. Um, yeah. So now if I change things, will it just change it on this? I think so. I think that's how it works. Okay. Well, we'll see. So I'm going to bob this, remove this parking lot. Uh, parking spaces one and parking spaces two. Okay, so we're going to remove this. And remove this one. And so exactly what I wanted to happen happened. All these cars went into these spaces here, which is what they should do. And it freed this up. Um, and then when I switch over to my other map, I'll just have to see if they the, the other map uses the global settings and this one will stay with these specific save settings that's really cool though i didn't know that that was possible so that would that's pretty kind of awesome you know what let's put some tables out here i feel like Sub subway would have some nice tables um let's go into find it and look for tables table let's get some wooden ones i'm using a lot of wood stuff in this city here is, yeah, I'm looking for, ooh, these ones. Oh, these are perfect. These are the zoo tables. Just something like that, I think would be nice. Maybe we'll put one more. One more. Nice, I think that's much better than the parking spots. What do you guys think? Better or no? Uh, Greg says, sorry for repeating myself. Uh, I meant also a dog park. Yeah, across the river. Yeah, we'll have to do, I, like, that's a good idea. We'll have to do, like, a big park over there. Um, V5 says, the main post office in my city has no flag and only a small sign. What? Really? They don't have a flag? I thought, I think every post office in America is like required to have a flag. I think it's like part of the law. <laughs> V5 says we have sheriffs, but they don't do regular law enforcement. Mostly they do stuff with civil forfeiture orders. Liam says it seems like we have too many police and then also not enough. <laughs> Greg says, sorry, big Canada flag. Oh, yeah, Greg recommended me use this new asset called the big Canada flag. I looked at that, but it doesn't, um, it's not animated. So the cool thing with the flag that I'm using is it kind of waves in the wind. Uh, the one that you recommended is just like static, so I don't like it as much. Liam says, we could get real tunas from Subway. I know. <laughs> I know, guys. Um, all right. So let's do what I was talking about before. I wanted to put a parking lot out here. We're going to have to delete these power lines. Uh, let me delete these. And use my parking lot roads. So we will grab a parking lot road. Um... Gosh, where is it? Here it is. All right, so this will come out maybe like in the middle of this area. Maybe like right here. This would be perfect. So this will come out. It will come out. It'll come out just straight out of this road. Maybe we should flatten this all out. Because this, you can see, this is like very sloped up here. Let's start, before we do the parking lots, let's level this out. Um, I did notice that, see, this does not look good here. See, it's like very sloped up here. Like this door is much higher than these doors. I don't like that. So we're going to use move it and just flatten them all out to the same height. 
Let's grab this building, and we'll grab this building, and we will do Control H and set them to right there. Boom. Okay, so that leveled everything out, and then we're going to take the terrain brush and level things out even more. We're going to bump up our brush size. We're going to set our size, our, our level to this, and then push all of this back. It's going to create a little bit of a cliff edge, but that's okay. I can work with that, I feel. We're going to flatten all this out so we can have some nice parking lots in here. I'll be flattened out to like here. So this will all be like Main Street stuff. We'll do this all along here. Flatten this out, flatten this out. All the way to like over here. All right, that gives me some nice looking cliffs there. And now we can put in our parking. We're going to use this, go right in the middle here, which should be like right here, come up to like, like there, and then use a parking lot road and have it just come out like this on this side and probably back like this side. Now, this seems like a lot of parking, but there's not going to be any parking up here. So uh, people are going to drive in. To the back. I mean, this is all the parking for the theater and stuff, too. Yeah. And we might even put some more parking on this side. I mean, this could come out and have another parking lot back here. I'm trying to replicate, like, when I've seen main streets, like, you have, like, all the buildings, all the buildings right on the main street, and then, like, the parking in the back. That's what I'm trying to simulate here. So we'll put in the parking spots after we do the buildings. But now that we have those in, let's see what other buildings I got. So I did select um, a bunch that I wanted to use. Let's look at my tags here. Okay, so we use these. I've already used those, already used these. Oh, we even used this. This is like a little burger joint. Oh, this would go perfect right here. Little burger joint. What is this called? Benny's Burgers. Oh, that's cool. Little a little shady burger joint. Um, okay, yeah, and we have some of these bigger buildings. I think would look good next to this, uh, next to the theater here. I'm going to leave a little bit of space because I'm going to have a, a pathway run down the side here, so there'll be a little bit of space there. So you got these kind of uh, just a little bit slightly bigger buildings. Uh, so that one, we need to use this one. There's a little American-style shop. Uh, what is this one? Oh, this would be good right on the corner here. This is like a, bre a brewery. Is that what that is? Yeah, look at that. The Napier Hotel. So it looks like a brewery. They have those kind of things on like these main, the main street areas. Um, let me throw in some more of these little shop looking buildings. This is a smaller one. Some of these look a little run down, honestly. Oh, I already used that one. Oh, that's kind of it. All right, we'll do another one of those buildings. All right, let's throw in some more of these over here. Um, yeah, let's do... Let me just grab some of these... Another one of these bigger ones. And then some of these smaller ones here. Just like that. 
It's got this cool little Main Street look to it. Perfect. And right here, almost, I feel like we should have like a little plaza kind of area. And then maybe even like another hotel or something down here. Uh, what else did I want to put in here? We got the church in. I think I've gotten most of this stuff. Oh, this I wanted to put in here. This is another restaurant. This is Corrales Kitchen. Maybe we could have this next to this. I don't Do you have this in Canada? Corrales Kitchen? This comes with like a little sign. <laughs> I like that. I might even like, you know what, let me move this over right to the corner. And then I can put like just a little bit more of a parking lot on the side here. Oh, it won't fit. Shoot. No, I need like a tiny parking lot. Um, I could do... Maybe I could just paint it in or something. Yeah, let me just paint it in. Uh, this is how I do like custom parking lots. So I can grab the surface painter and just paint it like this. And then grab the, um, yeah, so it looks like this. It's just nice and paved. And then I can grab just, just the blank parking spots, which would be like, um, like these ones here. So I grab these and then put them in like this and then use move it to grab this and then just spin it around and move it into place right here. And this should still be close enough to the road where cars will pull in here. Hey, look, we got cars in there already. Perfect. Oh, this could be even closer to the, this could be even closer to the side of the building. That looks pretty good, I think. Corrales Kitchen. Uh, Greg says, what in the world is Streamlabs? Streamlabs is a bot I have running over the stream, and it keeps tracks of uh, how many hours everybody watches. So you can, like, um, you can use codes and type in chat. Like Liam, you'll see Liam typed earlier. That he typed in a code that was exclamation mark top hours and it lists the top hours of everyone who's watched my streams and it's just something it's a bot that's like running while my stream is going on and then you can play the mini game the heist mini game which you can see liam typed in exclamation mark heist 1100 and what he's doing is he's betting zdg bucks zdg bucks stands for zach daily games bucks and it's kind of a monetary currency we have here on the channel that doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> but you can use it to play this mini game and bet on your ZDG bucks. And basically, everybody gets ZDG bucks for watching my stream. If you're watching the stream and you're chatting, I think every so many minutes you get like a couple ZDG bucks or something. Um, so you can check how many ZDG, ZDG bucks you have by typing in exclamation mark ZDG bucks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I usually don't explain this because it's just something that just like happens. Um, and if you watch the channel for a long time, you just kind of know about this. But I'll type it in. So I'll do exclamation mark ZDG bucks. You type it in just like this. And it will tell you. Uh, you'll see in a second. It'll tell you how many ZDG bucks you have. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, see, there you go. It says Zach Daily Games. You have 270 ZDG bucks. So just type in that code, um, and it will it will tell you how much you have. And it's just a function of how much you watch and chat, watching the stream. 
And then if you have ZDG bucks, you can use, you can bet the ZDG bucks in playing the heist game. But be careful with the heist game because it's, it's like, you can, it's, it's like betting. So you can like lose all your ZDG bucks. <laughs> um, hey, V5 has 815 ZDG bucks. That's a lot, man. That is a lot. Oh my goodness, Liam has 31,000. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. <sighs> Taco Time says ZDG Bucks is a rug pull. What? <laughs> Taco Time. It is not. Uh, should I start my own cryptocurrency? <laughs> ZDG Bucks, we already have the name. I bet it would go to the moon. <laughs> Taco's trying to borrow some of Liam's CDG bucks. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, this is looking really nice here. Um, let's see. What other things do I have on my list that I want to do? Oh, I want to I want to start building out these um, businesses over here. I feel like we need some more jobs. This is a little unbalanced. We're having a lot of commercial, but not enough industry. And what I have is I have these cool sheds here that I haven't used. And I think they're industrial. I think these are industrial buildings. No, that's residential. Uh, where's my sheds? Oh, yeah, these. Yeah, I thought we could, like, put these back here. They look like little warehouses but they're actually just industry buildings yeah just generic industry uh they cost five thousand each oh man we keep running through our money like crazy or maybe i just stick it on this road here i mean we have some space here yeah let me just stick it in here put in one there so just give a little bit more jobs to the area I'd like, I would like to put one back in here. Let's do, um, let's grab out like a dirt road. So dirt road, dirt rural road. We have like a dirt road coming back out this way. Okay, I thought like maybe running along the back here. up there we can have like a one over there and then maybe like another one over here and maybe just more factories and stuff back in here like what is this oh this is another industry building oh we could have like lots of little shacks in here Oh, I like that. I like that. It's like a little row of... Oh, that looks so cool. A little row of shacks. Now, are these four uneducated workers each? This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Now, here, I like that it's this higher height. Let's use move it and raise up this segment here, this node. We'll do control H so it's the same height as this. And this will slope up nicely to there. Yeah, I like it. I like I like this whole thing here. Okay. Very, very cool. Oh, that's a little too high. Why did that go so high? Control H, go to that height here. And then do this, control H to this height. All right, that looks better. All right, we need to get rid of this power line here. Does everything have power? I think everything here has power. Yeah, we're all good on the power, so that should be good. All right, let me let this run a little bit more. See how things are going. We're spending so much money, but we're also making money, which is good. Give me one second, I'll be right back. <clears throat>
Okay. Um, shoot. Everyone's complaining because they don't have water. Oh my goodness. All right, let me get some water pipes up in here. We're going to just do a little shortcut here because this road is really pretty close to this other one. I'm just going to cut right across from there and cut over to this guy. V5 says a lumber industry would make sense. Oh, yeah, we should start a lumber industry here pretty soon. I want to get this a little bit more established before I do the lumber industry because it costs a lot of money and I don't have any money. So we can't quite do it yet, but soon. I like that idea. Yeah, keep those ideas coming. <laughs> Greg says, I agree. A lot of trees to cut down and process lots of profit. Liam says he deleted the power lines before he checked to see if they had power, lol. V5 says in real life, people would be cutting down trees to make fire breaks. You might as well do something with all that wood. Yeah, I want to keep building out this main street area here. Or wait, let me, let me check my police station. Still two out of two police cars in use. Where are my police cars at? I don't even see the police cars. Where are they? Oh, there's one. There's one right here. Is this one of the new ones? No, that's one of the vanilla ones. It's heading back to the police station, though. So let's follow this. Because when he goes back, they're going to send out another one. No, he's not going back to the police station. What is going on with this guy? Oh, he's loading up his car with criminals. That's what's happening. All right, we'll come back and look at that. Taco says, nuke the trees. Wait, what? <laughs> Liam says, do a forestry Friday stream. We might have to do that. Okay, so what I was thinking, this is kind of central to Main Street here. And I kind of wanted to do a little plaza park kind of thing. I don't know if we need another park necessarily. Maybe I might do just my own, my own little plaza. I would like to have another hotel in here. So we have this big hotel here. I think it would be nice to have another one kind of at this corner here. Um, and then a plaza right next to it. That would be cool. Hotel. Let's see what kind of hotels I got. I got a bunch. That's too big. I don't need like a whole a whole full-on thing just something small these are all like massive this isn't bad that's not really like ski town though we need something that's more like ski town or we could use one of these. Oh, we could use one of these ones out of the content creator pack. I didn't even think of that. That would be cool. Like, what is this one? Anchor House Inn. Yeah, we could do and we could do any of these. Let me see the bigger ones. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think we've used any of these bigger ones. Hotel Alaire. Oh, there's so many options here. This is Hotel. That looks cool, too. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to do. This is the Breakers Hotel. That looks a little too fancy. That looks pretty nice. 
I like the peaked roofs. You'd see like peaked roofs like this um, um, in really snowy regions. So maybe this could maybe this makes sense in here. And what was the other one I was looking at? Uh, the other one was this Hotel Alaire, the smaller one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I really like that there. That Look at that. Look at that view. That shot just looks so good. I don't know if I want this one, like, right next to it, though. We might save this and put this in somewhere else. Maybe even, like, right here. That's a pretty nice fit. Yeah, little historic building right there. Oh, I'm loving this. These buildings are so versatile. Oh no, we were supposed to use this one. Okay, I can come use this later. Because I'm running out of money at the moment. All right. I need another commercial to stick over here. Okay. So for right now, this is... These are both unique buildings. I'm going to need to... Or this is functioning as a commercial. 17 workers. Let's do the same thing. Let's turn this into a commercial building. Or no, let's turn this into residential. We're going to say this is like 70 residential. <laughs> yeah, like this hotel was what? 45 households? Or maybe 70 is too much. Let's make it the same as the other hotel. We'll say this is 45. Forty-five households. I'll also use this repaint mod just to make this lighter. I think these are these assets are too dark, so I'm making that a little bit lighter. I'll do the same with this one. I think. Maybe I made that too light. Yeah, something like that. Perfect. And let's find a couple more commercial buildings to put in here, and then I will do like a custom park right here, I think. V5 says that's too fancy for Banff. What? Check out the Banff Springs Hotel for fancy. Uh, yeah, Banff Springs has this like incredible hotel. It's called the Fairmont. It looks crazy. We're going to try and do something similar to that. Um, that's like over here on this side of the river. Uh, but we'll get to that one day. Borgen says, my parents lived in Edmonton, Alberta before I was born. They have described to me how boring the province of Saskatchewan is. Uh, no. I'm getting sidetracked here. I need to find some cool commercial buildings. So let's go in here. Low density commercial. We're going to go look at all of them. And I downloaded some of these other Canadian style uh, buildings in here. Um, so some of them are like we have this like A and W. This is cool. It's like an A and W. I think this would be good like at this entryway here. So maybe next to maybe next to Tim Hortons. So A and W is like a restaurant we have in the U.S. as well. Um, I love A and W. Um, I remember going there as a kid and on like road trips and stuff. 
and it was just it was such a fun fun experience and oh my goodness there's a sign in the road why did they do that get that sign out of there So you can stop by this gas station, get some gas, and go stop off at the A&W and have some root beer. And what else do we got? Um, another Tim Hortons. It's the Tim Hortons I used. What is this? Knob Hall. It's like a fancier building. That actually looks kind of nice. It's like a nice old, older style building. I don't know if I'm digging that right there, actually. We, we're going to take that out. It's a little too, too nice. Oh my goodness, I got these like run down buildings. No, we're not going to use the rundown buildings. How about... What is this? Starbucks? No, I don't need a Starbucks. Car dealership? No. Dunkin' Donuts? No. kind of want to look just a little too big something like that that might be just kind of simple oh this we got to use this in here uh, this is like a little liquor store. <laughs> so you have a, your wine and liquor store right next to the big old hotel. Uh, this is part of the uh, university town pack. Um, and then we got this. We have like a little deli. Oh, this is great. And we have the liquor store and the deli right there. That's kind of a cool look. Um... And what is this? Cramburger. This would look good, actually. If I could, like, combine all of these together somehow. Let me see if I can just move this together. And make this work. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we have a liquor store, a cram burger, and then like a deli. And it has like a little drive-through thing here. Oh, this is all supposed to, these are both supposed to have drive-throughs. <laughs> um, yeah, the drive-through thing isn't really working right here. But maybe these could just be like order windows, like you could like order to go or something. But I like this look here. That's kind of what I was looking for. Maybe there's some like low rise commercial buildings. I think these look great. All right. So then right here, we got a little space for a, like a little plaza area. Let me just get some decals to lay down. I'm just going to do something just using, just using my own stuff. Um, let's go with some decals. And... These cobblestones actually look really nice. Let's use our prop line tool, fence mode, and do some decals like this. Oh, we need to make them closer together. I've never used these ones, but they're really cool looking. So do a line like this, and then use move it 
to select them all and then copy and put them all side by side. Just all the way across to here. They're not exactly lined up. Okay, let's grab all of them and just slide them down just slightly. Try to center it a little bit. All right, we will use our surface painter to get rid of the grass and these trees here by doing a little bit of gravel underneath here. Actually, you know what? I'll do pavement. That way it won't mess up my sidewalks. All right, got rid of all the grass. So we have this nice looking cobblestone. I really like this look here. Makes it like it old and historic. And then let me see if I got my uh, statue. We used, I wanna use this statue here and I used this in my other town, but I just like it so much. I feel like this is very fitting for a Canadian town too. And grab this statue and just kind of put this in the center of this park here. And I think this functions as like a, a park asset. But I think that's so cool. I just think that's that looks great. And then we can use some of our uh, new assets from Avanya that I downloaded. Um, they're planter assets. Let's see which one of these will really fit in here. You have these smaller ones. Did these, I want something with like benches. Maybe we'll do something big at the back here. Something like that. And then something like smaller on the side. And something like this on the edge. How does that look? Just some nice nice greenery with some benches. Oh, there's no benches on these ones. I wish there were. They look really nice though. All right, let's align them a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna grab Move It. Select all these guys. Nope, I'm selecting the wrong thing. Select that. Rotate it to be in line with that. That's facing the wrong way. Shoot. Like that. You know, I might duplicate this one. Put it like that. You know, I might use these on all the different sides here. Hold on. Because this has a nice bench on it. Yeah, we're just going to duplicate this one. All around the park. So that you can just chill here and hang out on the bench and look at the statue. And I love these planters because I don't have to do the trees or the flowers or anything. It already does it for me, which is really nice. Let's rotate this one just so it's aligned up with this. That looks perfect. All right, so the last thing we gotta do, we got this whole street in, this whole main street. Let's move these parking lots so that they're closer in. I'm gonna select all these nodes and then move them all at the same time. 
holding down alt. Oh, no, nope, that messes it up. So they're, they're right next to the back of this. And now we'll put in our parking spots. Oof, this is, this is so clean, guys. This is so clean. It's like everything's just like fitting together. Uh, let's find our parking spaces. And we will do our handicap spaces first. So we'll put them down at the end here. We'll put a bunch down at this end. And then we'll put in our EV spaces right next to this side here. And then we'll put in this nice big long ones. Let's try to get it nice and lined up here. And then maybe more handicap spaces at the end. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do the same thing on this side. Maybe we should put more handicapped and EV parking on this side. put in one too many of these shoot how do I how do I grab this what is what are these decals no surfaces yeah there's surfaces So that's good enough. Then let's just adjust this slightly so that everything lines up. We're gonna grab the node at the end here, hold down Alt so it stays in line, and then move it right to the end. Uh, these all look like they're pretty good. That's all lined up. That looks pretty good. All right, so we have a nice parking lot here. Let's get, uh, let's just extend out a path here so this is all connected. Uh, we're going to grab our pathways. Just go up like this. Then over to the edge here just to make sure that's all connected up. And... Yeah, I don't know. It looks really messy, but I'll fill this in with bushes and stuff so it looks good. Um, this will probably extend all the way around this building. way to there perfect um yeah and you know what we'll just continue to grow this main street all the way down this main street down to here uh just like in the real banff man we keep running out of money my money keeps going down and down and down how is that possible we still have people complaining over here about low land value how can they complain we're in this like beautiful paradise of a place i don't know i don't get it i do not get it greg says zach a lot of those level one buildings are real canada businesses the ones i shared with you earlier uh these ones Uh, 
Uh, no, I think these are from a different pack. Uh, but yeah, I did download a bunch of the ones that you showed me today. Uh, so I am using a bunch of them. I think they're awesome. Liam says, I'm just saying I'm not being serious. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're talking about stabbings. V5 says, there's an elk statue like that for the real Newfoundland regiment. Really? And like for real life? Greg says, beautiful square. Thank you, man. V5 says, maybe a path from the parking lot to the theater? Liam says, nice Main Street. Did you put a path on the other end for the hotel, too? That is a good idea. Yeah, we did not. Good call, Liam. We need to squeeze one in, like, right through here. So let's try and get one in. Just something like that will be good enough. We'll probably put one in on this end, too. Just move this note over slightly. Perfect. Nice little pathway there. Yeah, I'm really digging this Main Street. I think this is cool. So I love what we've done here today. Um, yeah, I just, I'm loving this whole town. I think it's so adorable. It's a beautiful Canadian town. I love this that we did today. These look so good. And I love this. I love our new Safeway area. I think that looks awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to end the stream off for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, how long have I been streaming? I've almost been streaming two hours. What? What? This has been like an extra long stream for me. I don't know. I don't. Where does the time fly? I don't even know. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to Liam. Thank you, V5. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Borgon. Uh, thank you, everybody. Everyone who was here earlier as well. Um, and everybody, remember, no matter what is going on in your life, to always do something fun every single day. Until next time, this is Zach signing off. <laughs>